Topic 8, Part 4, Work and Power and Efficiency. Work. Work is done when a force is exerted over a distance. Work is equal to the force times the distance. Here it is. Work is equal to the force times distance. There's a formula. The unit of work combines the newtons with the meters. So it's newton meter. And it's given a name joule. Here is an example. You carry a 20 kg suitcase upstairs over a vertical distance of 4 meters. How much work did you do? First of all, you had to work out the weight of the suitcase by using this formula. So it's 20 times 10 equal to 200 newtons. And the force you apply is for counteracting that weight. So the force you applied is also equal to 200 newtons. So work done is force times distance. Force is 200, distance is 4, and the answer is 800 joules. Power, in simple terms, is how fast work is being done or how fast energy is being transferred. First bullet point says power measures the rate of work done or the rate rate means how fast at which energy is transferred or power is the amount of work done or the amount of energy transferred per second so the formula is power equal to work divided by time or energy divided by time so p is equal to w over t or e over t here is an example 75 watt light bulb consumes 75 joules of energy or electrical energy per second. The example says your CD system uses 250 watts of electrical power. You play for three hours how much energy is used. So the subject is E. You are asked to find energy. Energy is power times time. It's just a matter of rearranging the formula for power. So power is 250. And time has to be expressed in seconds. So 3 hours times 3600 seconds in an hour. And the final answer is 2.7 times 10 to the power 6 joules. Here is an extension question. You don't have to do it. we got here 2... Physics students, one is Will, one is Ben. They're doing weightlifting, lifting barbell. The question is, which one delivers more power? I worked out the detailed answers for Will. You can do the same for Ben and compare the two answers. For Will, the force he uses is 500 newtons, which is equal to the weight of the barbell. The mass of the barbell is 50 times gravity, so it's 500 newtons. So there's a force he uses, 500, times the total height achieved. He lifts it 10 times. Each time the height is d. We don't know what it is. It's called a d. So if, it's, if you simplify that, it gives you 5,000 d. And then put this in this other formula. Power is, is work divided by time. Work is 5,000 D, time is 15 seconds. That simplifies down to 333 D watts, that's a unit. So you can work out, similarly, the answer for Ben and see how many Ds. The one with a bigger number is the one that delivers more power. Important formulas and units. These are the important ones you ought to know. I don't have to say too much. They are self-explanatory. Now we come to efficiency of a machine. The efficiency is defined as useful energy output or useful work done divided by the energy input times 100 to give you a percentage. The example here is energy input 
to a machine is equal to 1800 joules. Energy output from the machine is 1350 joules. The efficiency is 1350 divided by 1800 times 100 is equal to 75%.